and hello everybody um, welcome back uh, to uh, Freedom Fighter um, there's going to be a special guest featured on uh, this recording today uh, we're at the Kingsway Hospital and this we're looking at here uh, I believe used to be the old asylum yes it's actually been knocked down which I was said. Which yeah. It is the old site of the Kingsway Hospital. Right, Kingsway Hospital was a mental health facility in Derby in England. The hospital was designed by Benjamin Jacobs using a dual courtyard layout opened as the Derby Borough Asylum in November 1888. An additional block was completed in 1891 a private annex for fee paying patients known as Abu House and added into 1903 and a nursing home known as Rabal House was completed in 1931 because Derby Mental Hospital in 1912 and Kingsway Hospital in 1938 before joining the National, National Health Services in 1948 after introducing of care in the community in the near 1980s, the hospital went into a period of declension and patient numbers reduced significant and in the late 1990s 11 men died in usual, in usual circumstances at the hospital and an inquiry led by Sir Richard Rosser found that food and drink had been deliberately withheld. The hospital finally closed in December 2009. Most of the building has since been demolished, and that was basically now it's completely gone, and it's basically and it's been getting redeveloped. It says, as you can see here, guys, yeah. with the uh, sign, sign, and, so and uh, this here the uh, is the new um, Kingsway. Uh, hospital. As I said, it, now the New Kingsway Hospital, which is basically here, or Abbey House is a 10 bedroom maternity health rehabilitation and recovery inpatient services covering Derbyshire Council and Derbyshire County. It's got an Got a cherry tree close rehabilitation centre. It's got Cully, Cully Court, Kinstall Unit. And I said, it's our this is Kingsway Derby DE 223LZ. This is, this is that one. Yeah, this has said, and this is Abel, Abel House, this, this one here. It's Abel House, guys. bed mental health unit for men was built at the Kingsway Hospital in Derby and a 50 hour mental unit for men, women and non vital patients was built. Look here. Uh, no. I'm not going uh, too close guys, obviously because it's a 
serving hospital um, and out of respect for the gentlemen that are in there um, that are probably detained under the Mental Health Act 1984 but I'll give you a look at the um, building but I'm not going in or filming in any windows or anything like that um, out of respect uh, for the people so this is the Earl Albury. Albury House Memorial, Memorial Gardens He's even a doctor there, guys. I want to stand over this way a bit, I don't want to get patients in, if I possibly can. Well, that respect it. This is Ashbourne Centre. This is the Ashbourne Centre. Um, guys, I've got a public notice here. Um, a planning notice actually guys. A planning mm. exclamation. So it sounds like the building uh, um, research and development centre, guys. Got a couple of trespassing signs about. Um, 
um, hospital hub, hospital parking. This is uh, Tessington House, guys. Um, got any information on Tessington House, Dad? No. Okay. This is one of the uh, wards, guys. Um, have you ever seen these signs, though? Um, how they cater for different languages, um, guys. Is life. I, there's some other people in here that um, have been sectioned under the uh, Mental Health Act, guys, uh, 1984. And yeah. Alright. As you can tell, guys, uh, Princess Angela <laughs> is here. <laughs> <laughs> I think she's having a go at uh, all to do today. <laughs> so if you had... That's, um, I think the hub. Yeah. I'll have a look if you want. I think it might be the uh, Uber's site, isn't it? <laughs> it looks like it's a uh, COVID. There's no patients in my right. I've got a thing about um filming patients, guys. Um Simple reason is places like this, there's probably people that have been sectioned under the Mental Health Act and, the work, and it's not their fault. Um, they've been sectioned, it's because they've got an illness and we need to respect um, people that have got um, mental health problems. Uh, but it seems like this day and age, 
um, people with learning disabilities, mental health, um, seem to be getting let down every leg of uh, the way. And normally what tends to happen is they send a letter, and once you receive that letter, the first thing you turn around and say to you is ring a number. And if you're suffering from really bad mental health, the worst thing you're going to do is ring a number. So you're just going to be chucked on the bandwagon of the 145 million people that have got a mental health um, disorder. And uh, it's not fair, guys. Um, there should be more support um, for people that are actually uh, suffering. And like I say time and time again, we have an accident and emergency unit, an A&E. Uh, why can't we have an A&E for people with mental health problems? Right. In front of you, you see Audrey House. Audrey House is a 10 bedroom mental health rehabilitation and recovery inpatient service covering both Derby Council and Derby City. It provides rehabilitation programmes in a community setting for individuals who have been referred from other hospitals settings at Wick and the community. So that's all we have. As I said, it's a 10 bedroom mental health rehabilitation and recovery inpatient place. It's quite a big kiss. Yeah. Um, you and it. Is this another uh, peace garden? Since they have all these uh, police peace gardens, and they're normally these uh, gardens, guys and girls, are normally for patients. Um, to come out um, and relax um, and get rid of the stress um, guys Titian House, uh, Chris Bross has been at. That is a, eight, a modern 18 bedroom facility that has been built for care of older adult patients. In the past, the unit has been used for acute care. This is King's Warehouse Entrance H, um, guys. Got like a storage here, guys.
Put up this. Well, I say it's quite a a biggest site, guys. Uh, entrance uh, here there guys Cubbly Court, this, this, this one. Cubbly Court is a 36 bedroom assessment and treatment unit for both men and women and is accused to organic illnesses with requests of periods of assessment with an acute mental health setting with single sex accommodation. This is a 36 bedroom assessment one, this one. Cherry Tree Close. The Cherry Tree Close is a village in the cafe of a unit providing assisted care and treatment to 23 service users. The accommodation is open and relaxing, tree lined. Environment consists of five single sex self contained bungalows for either four or five service users. So look down here dad and then, uh, then we've done it. Last but not least, is a Kindle unit providing a generous, separate, low, secure service for males. It delivers an intake for sexual um, treatment, care by qualified staff, and health assistance for people who demonstrate disturbing behaviour in the context of severe mental disorder 
and do requires the professional security. As I say, guys, it's uh, fenced off. And out of respect for patients and things, um, we're going to leave this one uh, now uh, and move on. Um, just having a look round, that's all, mate. Pat. Section 33, Criminal Justice Act, it's open. I want you to go off and see private property. Section 33, Criminal Justice Act. Plus we've got, we've got somebody, a family member who's coming here and trying to see who she comes. Um, well, the thing is, if we've got other patients here and it's not fair if you're taking... We're not, all we're doing I is don't recall patients. Patient. She's, saying, she's coming here and basically... I can't have you filming, I'm afraid. Mm. If, you want to, if you want to film, then you need to be talking to the, the NHS, the management. Well, I've already done that and they've told me so I can come down and have a look and take the things from it, so I've already gone. No, in. they won't do. Well, can I ask why that people have been let down by mental health services seeing as you work here? Because it seems like waiting lists and after waiting lists right. after waiting lists. Can you take away that camera or I'll be phoning the police? Phone, call the police if you want, I've got nothing. I will do. I'm asking you to go off the property, please. We have got cameras ourselves, so we'll take. I'll make sure the security look at that. Fair enough. No problem, I'm not doing anything. You can't you go on people's property, this yes, is private can. property. As long as the base of the... There's no barriers or anything. It's public. Right, I'm who are you anyway? I'm just Low Riley, lead nurse. Lead nurse? Yes. So you're a CPM? Then I'll take it as... No, I'm not, I'm a registered nurse. Can I ask you to leave, please? I'm sorry about this, if you, it's, it's all legit. But we would get told about well, I'll it. Well, I'll tell you what I'll do. When I go back... It's all right, Dad. He's just doing his job. I respect to what he's done. It's John Endicottson. Who's the, the main name for Bad Derbyshire. That's fine. Lee Wimble told me to come out to check sure... He's, he's, all, he's just doing his job, Dad. I respect the nurses. He's got a problem. Like I say, my name no, is Slow Riley. Yeah. Yeah. All he said, basically, is what I said. Just, well, you know what? I've got yeah. a patient who's come... Dad just... Covid as well, you know. I remember who's coming. And he says, please go because he's basically... I think she says, can you go to the right? Just do show us to the right. Well, that's fine. Um, and then it's just, we haven't done any no windows. Just says, so basically, I don't recall patients right. anyway. I'm very respectful. Yeah. Do you know the best, right? she's got this. Yeah. Yeah. A bit of and she's got yeah. over to the thing. She says, has she, has she got a CPN? She's got a CPN, yes. And I've contacted yeah. them just basically because she says, if you just go around, basically, don't go into anything. Right. Go around the property, show what's going to be like. What's off going to be the best, the best thing to do, contact the CPN. Yeah. Can you stop filming, please? And the best thing to do is contact your CPN. Yeah. 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 The thing is though, Dad, the thing is though, it's open to the public. You've got a public walkway, so under section 33. I'm just saying the thing is though, she's got a public walkway there. I was just saying, just so the gentleman knows, there's a walkway there, people can make access onto your property. It's still under section 33 of the Criminal Justice Act, you can walk onto it, so...
I'm just trying letting them know if it is public, it's pu you've got a public right away there. Section 33, I'm just letting you know if you don't want people onto your property, fence it off. Plus, you've got a public walkway. I'm just letting you know anyway, I don't want to disrespect any of you, but. I've got a little bit, but it's like going ten, 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 ten. You said you'd get it, though. Look at the fat she's got. Look at the fingers he's. No, I said we can't do anything, section 33 is like a walk, walk away. Look it up if you want. Specialise, Got a specialise in it. Have to uh, end it here guys and uh, contact Mrs Angel and say we've uh, We've been booted off. <laughs> Why haven't been booted off? He's asked us to leave because basically they don't like it to find out because basically they're not keeping up to the protocol. Underneath and under section 33, your technical can. Yeah. Even though he's going to call the police. Alright, so. right, thank you for tuning in guys um, and don't forget to uh, like, comment and uh, subscribe And notice when I asked the questions why people are being let down, he wouldn't answer. Yeah. Typical that. And as you see guys, these are all houses. So it's has got public right away. Right, come on dad. <laughs>